When I say weight loss, I'm sure you think of an uncomfortable experience that will leave you starving over the next few months. But what if I was to tell you that weight loss doesn't have to be restrictive, it doesn't have to be uncomfortable, and it doesn't have to be complicated. If you follow the steps I'm about to share with you, you'll be losing weight and not even know that you're dieting. Nobody plans on gaining weight, it just happens. You look in the mirror one day and you see that fat accumulation around your waist, or maybe you find that your clothes just don't fit like they used to. Well, this happened to me directly out of high school. I was going to college, working a lot of hours, and I just wasn't paying attention to my health. And just like that, I gained 40 pounds. And the worst part was, is I didn't know what to change in order to lose the weight. Does this sound familiar? You too may need to lose some weight. And maybe you've tried losing weight, you've gone to the gym, you started some weight loss shake, and you restricted your calories down to 1,500 calories or less per day, and your weight barely budged. Here's what you must know, is that this weight loss resistance can be fixed through proper eating strategies. And you heard that right, not dieting, but eating strategies. Here is how you eat for immediate weight loss. Your first area of focus needs to be on sugar. And I know that you hear this all the time, but it's so important. The average person consumes over 125 pounds of sugar every single year, and it's in everything. It's even in the canned vegetables that you're buying from your grocery store. And when you consume this sugar, it raises a metabolic hormone known as insulin. And when insulin is high in the body, it blocks fat loss. I was working with this really nice lady named Laura, and Laura was desperate to lose weight. She had said to me, I used to be able to lose fat immediately when I tried, and now, no matter what I do, it just won't bother. When I looked at Laura's test, her lab test, one of the things I saw right away is that her insulin levels were very high. So there was no doubt that in Laura's case, insulin being high was the prime culprit as to why she could not lose weight. So focus on going sugar free. And our goal is not to restrict ourselves. Our goal is to find better alternatives. And this is going to be better alternatives to your typical table sugar or even high fructose corn syrup that's gonna skyrocket your blood sugar and your insulin levels. We want to have sweeteners that have almost no impact on our blood sugar or insulin levels. Some examples of these will be erythritol, xylitol, stevia, or even monk fruit. When you're having a coffee next time and you're tempted to put some sugar in it, use some erythritol instead. Or maybe the next time that you're tempted to have a soda, what you can do is have a soda that's sweetened with stevia. Our second top focus has to be on lowering carbohydrates. And this is where you start thinking about the bread, the pasta, the bagels, and even the pizza that you eat. On average, people consume about 320 grams of carbohydrates per day. And when I first started working with Laura and I asked her to start cutting carbs, the first thing she had said to me is, but I love pasta and pizza. And my response back to her was, if you love pasta and pizza, then you should probably eat them. Now you could probably imagine the confusion on her face at this time. But if these are the foods that you enjoy, then you can eat them. You just have to find better alternatives to them. I call these healthier options lateral shifts. Let me give you some examples of lateral shifts that you can make with the foods that you love. So let's say that you're a chocolate lover. Well, instead of a Hershey's chocolate bar, you can have a stevia sweetened Lily's chocolate bar. And then let's say sometime mid-afternoon you like to have yourself a soda. Well, instead of that Coca-Cola, you can go with a Stevia Cola. And then at nighttime, when night comes around, you love a good dinner and you love pasta. Well, give up the wheat pasta and stick to a mushroom pasta or even maybe a chickpea pasta. These are great lateral options. And at night, if you're really craving pizza, well, who doesn't love pizza? Instead of going with that DiGiorno, ditch the DiGiorno and go with a good cauliflower crust pizza. These are all great lateral shifts in healthier options. And it's important to realize that weight loss is accomplished through making healthier choices and not through harsh discipline. This is how you lose weight immediately. And this is the secret to losing weight forever without misery. Smash the thumbs up button if you're excited to start eating for fat loss. The third area that we have to focus on is food quantity. And if you're anything like me, you love good food and you love lots of it. But there's only one problem. If we eat 
too much of that good food, well, that turns to fat on our body. And this is normal. It's a normal survival mechanism. So that way, if we were to have to go many hours or even days without food, our body could survive it just fine. You could imagine in primal time, our ancestors probably had this happen to them often because they didn't have a grocery store down the road to go to. So it's a simple concept. If you eat too much food, you'll store it as fat. At this point in time, you and I don't want to go through the burden of counting calories. So what you can do in order to start consuming less food is eat like this. You skip breakfast every day and you only have two meals. Now each of those meals are bigger meals versus having three or more small ones. You don't consume any snacks, so no snacking at all. How I typically do this is I skip breakfast, I eat my first meal around noon or one o'clock that day, and then I stop eating at night at 8 p.m. Throughout the day, cravings are inevitable. If you're a human, at some point, you're gonna have cravings. Now, the way I get around these cravings is by drinking some black coffee, some black tea, or even some sparkling water. But the more that you practice, this healthy eating and also this intermittent fasting lifestyle, the less cravings you'll have. We've talked about cutting sugar, lowering your carb intake, and even eating less food, which all leads us to focus number four, and that's eating more foods with lesser calories. The standard American diet really loads us up on calorically dense foods, like a burger and fries, pizza, and many things that people are eating for lunch. For an example, how about a sandwich? So if you were to have a chicken sandwich that had mayo on it with a small bag of chips, that would land you somewhere around 900 calories. Whereas if you were to eat a big chicken salad with your favorite dressing on it and have a sparkling water, you would have somewhere around 500 calories. So there's a 400 calorie difference between those meals. Vegetables are a great way to fill you up and consume fewer calories. So the next time you're choosing sides at dinner, choose broccoli over rice. Choose green beans over a potato. And remember that variety is the spice of life. There's a lot of veggies out there and there's a lot of great ways to cook them. Don't get locked in the tunnel vision thinking that the only way that you can ever consume veggies is by eating a salad. And when you start making this shift, eating more vegetables, you'll feel more satiated and consume way fewer calories. Now here's an important concept that I really want you to understand. Sustainable weight loss is far more important than fast weight loss. It's far more important to set yourself up correctly for success long-term than it is to lose 30 pounds in 30 days. The weight loss fad diets, they always fail people, and this is where you get the term yo-yo dieter from. How to eat for weight loss is a lifestyle, not a short-term fad diet. So if you're like me, you would have gotten to this point in the video and you would have said, what about the dessert? I love dessert. Who doesn't love a good dessert? For me, after I had gained that 40 pounds, I lost it while I was in college. And I have maintained a healthy BMI for over 13 years, and I didn't do it. I can promise you, I didn't do it by restricting all the foods that I love. So even when it comes to, to dessert, without getting into complex recipes, you could go to your grocery store right now, and you could find a sugar-free ice cream. You could find sugar-free chocolate bar and caramels and sodas and even cake there. And all of them are sweetened, so they taste delicious. They're sweetened with alternative sweeteners like the ones I mentioned earlier, your xylitol, erythritol, monk fruit, and even stevia. Beyond food, we must take a few other factors into consideration for immediate weight loss, like a good night's sleep. It's gonna reduce cravings, it's going to improve your metabolism, and it'll even lower a stress hormone that blocks fat loss. Daily exercise for 30 minutes or more is going to improve your metabolism and help you burn more calories. Staying well hydrated and drinking a glass of water before each meal will stop you from confusing hunger for thirst and ultimately help you eat fewer calories. Using these exact same methods that I just taught you, Laura was able to lose 80 pounds and keep them off for four years. I can't wait to hear your success story. As always, I'm Dr. Zorowski, and it was an absolute pleasure on educating you on how to take control of your health naturally. I highly recommend you watch this video next.